Hey, 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 it is me. It is big motherfucking baby. And I'm talking noise tonight. I'm t- it, it, boy, it's 11 o'clock tonight. And I don't even care. It's big baby the god, big baby the goat, aka big baby, aka black rap, big baby J. Big Baby, Bron Bron, the GOAT, Big Baby, Mellow, Hoodie Big Baby, I'm in here, and I'm doing it. And guess what? We're going to talk about Eli motherfucking Manning. And, you know, I got some bad news today. I got bad news today. And the news I got about Eli Manning today it really broke my heart, man, because all that was, it was bad news. You know, it's just like, what's going on in New York? So, you look around and you think about what's going on in life. You look at the people around you, you look at the product you want, you look at your goals and all of that stuff, and you say, what do I want from this? And I'm like, you know what? I want to be a winner. I want to be the best at what I'm doing. I want to have the best team. I want to be the best player in the world that I can be. And I think it is very important to do that. But also, I think it is very important to show, to pay homage and show respect for those who have put you in the place to be the best that you can be and never forget about what they've done for you. The New York Giants are guilty of treason. Turning on Eli Manning as a team, they're like 2-8, and 2-9, and nine, whatever they are. Turning on Eli Manning, that is treason. The Giants have committed treason. It's like, I get it, you're having a tough season. Things aren't going for you like you maybe would want them to. But choosing to bench... Eli Manning is treason. Benching Eli Manning is treason, and the coach, Ben McAdoo, or as Skip Bates would say, Ben Muchadoo about nothing. Ben Muchadoo is Benedict Arnold. He has turned on the NFL and, more importantly, the U, the, the New York Giants organization. The Mara family should be appalled by what Ben McAdoo has done. And, you know, I don't talk much sports on the Big Baby Podcast. I I save that for the catch-up. But when you got stuff like this, man, you just got to talk about it. Ben McAdoo. Ben much to do about nothing. Ben, you ain't much about nothing but shit, man. What the hell are you doing? You are – I get it. It's a bad season. OBJ hurt. Brandon Marshall hurt. Sterling Shepard been hurt. You don't have a running game. You don't have an O-line. Your defense has turned their back on you. They act like they don't want to win anymore. But why in the hell are you benching Eli Manning? Eli hasn't played great, but he ain't Flacco, and Flacco's still starting. Eli hasn't been the best, but he ain't, you know, he ain't been the best, but, you know, he's still better than Kaepernick. Kaepernick ain't playing. I think Kaepernick should be playing. But the bitch Eli Manning, two-time, two-time Super Bowl champion, a Super Bowl MVP, he beat Brady on the biggest stage. And you're going to bench him. Ben McAdoo, you done lost the locker room, you done lost the team, you done lost your job. Ben McAdoo, no, he ain't coming back. This man is starting Geno Smith. Geno bum-ass Smith, the man who got jaw. Back when he played for the Crosstown, the Crosstown Jets, he got jaw. Missed the season because he got his damn jaw broke. Excuse me. Because he wasn't cashed in on his bets. Man, like... What, what what are you doing, Giants? What are you doing, Ben McAdoo? Ben McAdoo, you are wrong. Ben McAdoo, you are incorrect. 
Ben McAdoo, you deserve to be fired. You slick back mustache having probably associated with the mafia or the mob. You can't do nothing right. You done done everything wrong. You snuck into the playoffs last year. You improved your roster, but you couldn't improve your team. Ben McAdoo. I'm going to start calling you Ben McAdoo. Fuck Ben Much Ado. Ben, ben Macca don't you need you don't need to be coaching in in in, 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 in oh boy I'm stuttering. You don't need to be coaching in the NFL anymore. You benched Eli uh, making money fly Manning. Mr. Clutch, Mr. Playoffs. Yeah, Eli likes to throw picks. Yes, Eli can't move in the pocket, but he can throw that ball. He can win you some games. He got some experience. And for you to uh, turn your back on Eli Ben McAdoo, you turn your back on the organization. You turn your back on the Giants. You turn your back on the Morris. You turn your back on the whole NFL. You turn your back on yourself because you do you, you do not want a head coaching job again in the, in, the, in the league. You obviously want to be a coordinator again. You like that coordinator life. You like your big Thick playbook with all those man, man, you know Ben McAdoo, man, he got plays for days. They don't work, but he got plays for days. He out here making a play, but the last play that he made was probably the worst play that he's ever made because he really just benched a legend. He benched a future Hall of Famer. He benched a Manning. He benched Eli Manning. He benched two rings for Geno. I haven't been good since I left since I left uh, 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 West Virginia Smith. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you thinking? Are you thinking? I don't think y'all. I don't even got notes. I ain't got nothing. I just got to go in. I get it. The Giants, man, y'all have a terrible season. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all gonna get a great draft pick. And I think you should draft a quarterback with that pick. A top notch quarterback because Eli's is 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 nearing his is is his uh expiration date. And you got Odell Beckham Jr. You got uh Melvin Ingram, I think that's his name, the tight end. You got some pieces. You got a solid defense. And you need somebody to get in there who can goddamn try to get you another ring. But playing Geno Smith. Boy, you're better off playing John Smith. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Gino ain't it. Gino ain't legit. Gino ain't shit. And if you think he is, oh, yeah, well, you drinking what I'm drinking. That Budweiser, that heavy, that diesel, that all-American bullshit. But what do I know? I'm just a big motherfucking baby. But I hate that Eli lost his job because he's a legend. And one of the things we've seen in the NFL is legends don't go away gracefully. Peyton Manning, his older brother, left the league limping. But thank God he won a Super Bowl because he had a great defense, good receivers, and a good running game. Brett Favre ended his season, ended his career throwing picks. I'm trying to think of another great quarterback who I've seen leave the NFL, and I can't think of any more. But a lot of great quarterbacks don't leave leave the way they're remembered. A lot of great players don't leave the way they're remembered because what makes them great is what keeps them playing longer than they need to be playing. But the fact that Ben McAdoo had so little respect for Eli Manning to bench him for <sighs> – but Geno Smith, that's disgraceful. That's disgusting. It makes my stomach turn. It would be one thing if they did like the, the, the Chiefs did. They drafted a quarterback in the first round. And you know what? We're going to get this guy some reps. But to bench Eli this season, I hope you trade him to Jacksonville. I hope Tom Coughlin reinvigorates him with that good running game, that good defense, 
Alex, uh, 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 Alex Hearns, Aaron Hearns, and everything. Hearns, you know, Hearns. Some of them weapons they got down there. And he goes down to Jacksonville, and I ain't saying he gonna get him a ship, but I say he he'll make them real competitors. He'll make them he'll make them believers. I don't care if if Eli goes to hell, Denver, like his brother Peyton did, because they still got the pieces there, and the only piece they missing is quarterback to make them relevant again. But the New York Giants and Ben McAdoo, you don't deserve Eli Manning. The, 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 ben McAdoo, you don't deserve the New York Giants. Ben McAdoo, you need to take a job as an offensive coordinator for the Browns to get fired because the way your thought process is moving right now is absolutely terrible. It's disgraceful. It's, oh, my God, it makes me sick. But, again, what do I know? I'm just a big motherfucking baby. And that's how I feel about this. Big baby out.